What's up, y'all? Keith again. Got a little idea here, and I want to kind of share it with everyone. I got a lot of intercooler stuff going on, and I thought it'd be a good idea to try to come up with a little tool that I could make my own intercooler pipe beads with that wouldn't cost an arm and a leg. So let's get this quick idea on what we're going to do here, how cheap it's going to be, the tool we need, and what we got to do to make it happen. All right, so in my quest to build this car and do all the intercooler piping myself with just a kit that I got online. I got a kit that had lots of pipes in it, just like this, that were full size. Some were straight pipes, some were 90s, some were 45s. No 180s in the kit that I had. I needed one, didn't have one. All right, that left me kind of perplexed on what to do. <clears throat> do I buy a fancy bead roller that costs like $150? just to roll a couple beads on a couple pipes, just this one time, because maybe next time I don't need an intercooler kit, maybe next time I buy a car and it's already on there, right? Now, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, <clears throat> on all these pipes, these things come pre-rolled with the bead on it there, if you see that. The whole purpose of this bead is to help keep the intercooler pipes together whenever you add a coupler. I'm gonna get a coupler and a clamp real quick and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, there's my nice pile of tools that I use to work on this thing with all the time. Here is a three inch intercooler coupler that came with the kit. They're nice and thick. I forget what mill these are, but whatever, it came with the kit, CX racing kit. Anyway, there's a coupler, silicone, nice. These are the T-bolt clamps that we use to clamp these on the pipe. Number one, you don't want to use hose clamps because they don't grip the same strength if these grip. And number two, you want your pipe beaded on the end like that. You see the, the bead on it there. So that when you put this in and you run your clamp down on it, it grips behind it as you put this on. The clamp goes on, grips behind it, so this piece can't pop off. Now, obviously, if you try to take this piece, put it in the clamp, it'll still fit. However, you risk at high pressure, like anything more than maybe 10 pounds or so, you risk this pipe simply sliding out of the coupler, even with the clamp tight as it'll go, simply sliding out of the coupler because there's no bead on there to hold the edge to keep it from popping out. So we need to make something to stop that from happening. Okay, so right here I have a set of electrical crimpers that I bought a couple years ago. Uh, I got this and a pack of two. That was a, a pair of these and a pair of needle nose pliers. Um, I rarely use these because they're a little too small for what I do at work. I have a bigger set that gives me more leverage to grip with. These pliers are probably only like six and a half, maybe six inch pliers. I have a pair of eight or nine inch pliers. They work a lot better. They give me more gripping power. Uh, I paid $10 for both the pair of pliers when I got them. Um, so this is five bucks, five bucks. What we're looking for here is this part right here. Now, as you see, it's got more than one. There's another one here. But if you look like, if you look at that, that is almost the exact same bead that is on our pipe. But we have this other stuff in the way. So what I'm going to do is take this pair of pliers over to the grinder. You can see there's a pair of wire cutters on the end that's kind of sharp pretty sharp and we have this extra piece down here we don't want uh, this back here is more of a round crimper and it's kind of flat on the bottom and it doesn't really protrude from one side to the other so it's not going to hurt anything so i'm going to go to the grinder on the bench here and i'm going to grind off this portion flat where it won't be touching anymore and only leave this part here all right we've got the camera all set up Safety glasses. You don't have to be all safetyed up if you don't want to be. Uh, but uh, I at least wear some safety glasses out here because this shit will fly on your eyes. I promise. Um, grinders are pretty hardcore. So, again, there's our same pliers that we had a second ago. I'm going to be grinding off everything to the left of, the, of my finger there. All that's going to be flat. Let's get started.
give this thing a second to stop here. Do you see that? I slowly went back and forth, one side, the other side, one side, the other side, till I got it where I want. This thing's wicked hot, so I'm not going to touch it. But uh, as you see there, I have nothing protruding from, ooh, it's hot, from this side of my finger over. There's nothing protruding. It's all flat. So now we can test it on a piece of pipe that we have sitting on the bench. So let me get a piece of pipe real quick and we'll try it out. All right, so I've got my pipe here. Um, all you have to do now that you've got your bead, ma bead maker created is use some hand power. Now it's gonna take some clamping for us to create this bead. I've already started right there. If you see that, I made a little dimple. Uh, but you've got a pretty, get a good, pretty good cramp, clamp down on it with your hands here. So I'll show you, it's gonna take two hands for me to do it because these pliers are a little shorter, like I said. But you see, with just a little clamp down, there you go, we're forming a bead already, and I just started. So, I'll go around the edges a little bit here with it just to try it. Let's see what kind of bead I get. And these are just scrap pieces that I had laying around, extra stuff. I've already built the whole cold side on my car over there. Uh, but there's some pieces that I'm going to have to do this to because I haven't finished yet because I didn't make this tool yet. All right, that looks pretty decent. And we have a bead now. Now you can continue to go over this as many times as you need. Clamp down as hard as you need. And if you'd like to build bigger pliers, knock yourself out. I went the cheap route for five bucks, so you know, it's all good. Do whichever one you want. You'll probably get much better leverage with a bigger pair. Uh, you can also put these in the vise, stand it up, you know, and put this in the vise and clamp it down. It'll make a nice, good, strong bead for you. Experiment, figure out the best way for, your, for you to do it. So I'm going to finish this bead off, and then we'll be back after that. All right, so after we've... Made our own little bead roller. You can see there the bead that I made on this side and the bead that was original on the pipe on this side. Obviously, it's not perfect, but I believe that's going to do just great. So, for five bucks, I made a bead roller that worked just fine. Uh, now, what's going to happen is your hand's going to get tired, right? Because you can only sit here and clamp this thing so many times. And let's say Every single one of these pipes you had to cut and redo. You want to get a little look at this. I mean, that could be a lot of separate beads you got to roll there. And I haven't even done these yet. So, see, like I said, I got to roll this one and roll this one. Uh, this one's already good down here. It's already good. This one, this one needs to be done. And uh, I believe both of these are okay. But one of these on this side also needs to be rolled. So, what I did was took a uh, my crimping tool that I made, put it on the vise in here. On the back side of my vise is an anvil here. So I took my pliers, clamped it on the inside here, like so, held it, and simply hammered this vise or hammered. The pliers, just like this, hammered the top, and uh, it goes down pretty well, pretty easy. It's just soft aluminum. Uh, most everyone is going to buy the cheap kit, because that's what I bought. Um, hammer's pretty easy. Took no time at all. It might have took me two minutes to do this. You can do it by hand. Like I said, if you more want to be more careful about it, that's fine. Knock yourself out. Play it on your own. Either way, for five bucks, can you really beat this, right? Even if you want to go big and buy the Kleins, they're 20 bucks. Uh, I use those for work, uh, but they're too nice to tear up for me. So five bucks, I can, I can stand. All right, now we can kind of demonstrate what we did. And there's our bead that we rolled into the clamp and the coupler. All right, it's about over halfway in there. I can feel the bump. The bump is right there. I can feel it. 
inside the coupler. So we put our T-band on the back there. Be careful when using this. Uh, I'm going to use an impact drill with a socket, but if you go too far down, you're going to run over there's the top of this clamp right here. Uh, you'll run over the top of that clamp and break it. So try to make sure your socket only stays on the lock nut there. It's more challenging with one hand. So anyway, I'll do this in two hands then. All right, 10 seconds later, the thing is clamped on there extremely tight. Uh, you can still see that's the one I beat it. It's kind of rough on the inside where I use my clamp. Um, you can, again, you can feel the bump in the pipe, the uh, the bead that we rolled right there. Uh, so you got to pull this off plus rip through the clamp to get this off now. And I highly doubt that's going to pop off. It may. It may. Uh, the other trick is to spray the inside of these couplers with aerosol hairspray before you put them, put them on. After you beat it and slide it in there, you've got hairspray on it. And the hairspray acts as a glue. Uh, it's flammable. So if anything happens and it gets loose in there, it'll just burn won't hurt anything um but hey for five bucks can you beat that i don't think so okay hopefully maybe that helps somebody um everything i do is on a budget i'm in this two-car garage as you see with a table full of tools that i always stay messy with nice and sloppy uh you, you know the mustang i keep going we got four wheelers and lawnmowers and recliners and slicks and we just had a yard sale so we got grills and everything else you know whatever boxes tons of boxes from parts so, got more parts coming tomorrow. Anyway, hope this helps out somebody. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Like it, comment, subscribe, share, all that good crap. And uh, good luck, everybody. Keith with MJKL Speedworks. Peace.